Okay, y'all, welcome back to the vlog. I can't believe this is the first time I'm getting to address y'all in like real time that I'm pregnant and we can finally talk about it. And thank you guys so much for your love and support on baby number two. We're so, so excited. I can't even explain how happy we are and like, I mean, it's a boy, like, can't believe it's a boy. So yeah, baby boy on the way. So excited to finally share the news with y'all. And that is partly why we are bringing it here today. Um, because I am going to finally do my first trimester Q&A with y'all. I have answered a lot of questions on Instagram in my weekly Q&As. Um, but a couple of y'all had DM'd me asking if I could bring it to YouTube because you want to hear my voice behind the answer, which I totally get, and like more depth answers. So I will totally do that. But if you have follow me on Instagram and you have seen all of our pregnancy stuff and announcement and gender reveal and everything over there. Um, these questions might be like repetitive to you, but I would not be a good YouTuber if I didn't bring it to YouTube and talk about it with you guys, like all my first trimester stuff and just catch up with y'all because that's what I did with Lennon. So why not do it with, you know, this baby? I always want to say his name. So it's so hard not to. And I'm just so glad that I don't even like have to like hide that I'm pregnant anymore. Like it's not like necessarily hiding. It's more just like, you know, waiting for the right moment to share. And I got to the point where I was like, oh my God, I cannot, can't do this anymore. Like I just need to tell, tell the world. We were so happy. We were so excited. All, everything was like great. I was like, what's the point in not telling anybody anymore? Let's just tell people. I did wait longer than I did last time, but my first thought was like, I'm going to go till 20 weeks and not say a word. Um, and then we found out it was a boy and we were just like, oh my gosh, over the moon, excited and everything. So yeah. So what we're going to do here is we are going to do a first trimester pregnancy Q&A catch up on all the things that we didn't really get to talk about on the vlog. And yes, again, if you follow me on Instagram, these will seem some like some questions will seem repetitive, but I am here to just have a nice little honest chat with you guys and go through all the things that you guys might have missed out on the first four months of my pregnancy. <laughs> because right now I'm 16 weeks. Baby is the size. Baby boy is the size of a pear. So sweet. I love this app. It's called What to Expect, and it's just the best thing ever. You can always like look through what your what your baby is doing on the day, what the week is meaning, what it's forming, how big is my baby at 15 weeks. It gives you all this stuff. So, what to expect? Great app for any expecting mamas that just wanna, you know, see what your baby's doing in the week while you're growing. And maybe if you're really exhausted, then you'll know why because you're grown bones. Um, but I'm so excited because there's so many amazing questions and some of them you guys might not even know because, you know, this is the first boy in my family. We'll get to that, but, um, uh, very excited. So let's get in to the vlog. All right. First question from my Q and A, um, how many weeks are you? And I'm so excited for y'all. So I was 15 weeks at the time we announced I'm 16 weeks this week. I changed like every Wednesday. So yeah. So I'm 16 weeks. I'm like, why is it so hard? I was measuring ahead. I think some people got confused by that. It doesn't matter how much you measure ahead. What you go by is gestational, like when you got pregnant. Um, baby can measure ahead. Lennon measured ahead the entire time. But so yeah, I'm 16 weeks right now. Um, I just answered that two seconds ago, but we're going in the Q&A now. Um, and I, I also said this, like I thought it was crazy how like people were like, you look like you're 20 weeks pregnant. I mean that in the nicest way. I'm like, I know, like I know I look like that because like I just have shown so much faster this time. Everyone told me that you show so much faster with the second baby. I just didn't realize that how true that was. Like I was like popping at like eight weeks, which is like with Lennon, I didn't even pop until like 25, 26 weeks. But this baby, this pregnancy, second time around your uterus just knows what to do pops back into place and you just show so much faster. I think people told me that like it evens out. It doesn't just mean you're gonna grow so much bigger. It just means it evens out. Like it just, your uterus knows what to do so it remembers and then you just even out along the way, which I'm kind of experiencing right now. Like I feel like I showed a lot earlier and then right now I'm kind of leveling out. Um, so yeah, so answer that question, 
16 weeks. All right, this next question is, what is my due date? So with this pregnancy, I'm kind of like so over like the due dates. Like I just feel like I'm like, I'm gonna say how many weeks I am and then like my due date is just like April, tentative. It could be March. Like I am technically due April 5th, but as you know, if you've been following me for a while, I went super early with Lennon. I went about, well, not super early, two weeks early with Lennon. Um, and so she was an April 1st baby instead of an April 12th baby. So like, that's why I'm like, due dates are kind of just like, eh. Barely any babies are actually due on their due dates. So it's kind of like my mindset with this pregnancy is like, I'm not gonna put a due date on my baby. Like, I'm just gonna let it come when it wants to come. Like, hopefully that's early. I would love it to come early. Um, but, yeah, so my due date is April 5th. So this is like a whole week earlier than Lennon's due date, which was April 12th. So if I do my math right, it would be if I went two weeks early again, because they say genetically, like if you're, like my mom went two weeks early with all of her babies, all of us, me and my sisters, and it's apparently genetic on how long like your pregnancy is and everything like that genetically, I don't know. They say, they say everything is, but. So I just always was like, oh, I'm gonna go early with Lennon, and this one I'm like, I don't really know. We'll see. I heard boys like to stay in there longer, so that'll be interesting. But uh, my due date, April 5th. Next question was, was it a dream again or were you trying? So this is the craziest thing to me, y'all. I still like cannot get over how like God speaks to me through my dreams. Like this is the second time I've had a pregnancy dream and that was the only reason I took a test for the second time around like with Lennon I had no symptoms I had nothing I had no idea I was pregnant I just took a test because I was like why did I have a pregnancy dream like why is this nagging me it's nagging me this time around again if you watch the vlogs Jarrett and I had been trying for we tried like once like a fun try in May and then June we were like really tackled down my like ovulation and like really like tried to figure out like <laughs> how do you make a baby when you're not really like when you're actually trying because with London we weren't trying and we just got pregnant this time we were like oh you kind of have to like ovulate and stuff and know when you're ovulating and I just didn't know that so June we really honed in on it and we you know didn't get pregnant and then in July I was like okay hold on like I don't want an April baby like I would love for Lennon to have her her own month and like not have to worry about joint birthdays and I've had so many of you guys DM me and tell me how amazing it is to share birthdays with their siblings and I totally get it I'm coming more around to the idea don't worry I am um, that was just like my mindset but you know like while we're in control we were in control of trying you know what I mean obviously my app was wrong and I've learned that <laughs> you know I've learned the ways around to making a baby and next time when we're, when we're trying, I'm literally gonna be just mm, testing my temperature or something because my app has always been wrong. Like my period is very, very like set in stone. Like I'm very regular, but I think my ovulation is just earlier than usual, like earlier than what it says. And that's what's tricked me both times. So that was, you know, how we got pregnant. So trying, but not really trying. This, this, that July, we were not trying in July, but like we were trying before that. So like, I can't get mad that we got pregnant. Like that's what we asked for. Even if we were avoiding my ovulation week, which happened to actually be my ovulation <laughs> day or not my day, my, my starting my week, whatever. There's a green week and then there's your ovulation days. If you don't know this, you'll learn this whenever you're trying to start a family or you are looking to start one. You gotta know, you gotta know those things. They're really important. Um, but yeah, so my short answer to this question was we were trying, but we were not trying in July, but it just happened that we got pregnant. And then my dream was that I was pregnant and that's why I took my test in general. Like I took a test and that happened with Lennon and um, it was just the craziest thing ever how that happened twice, like twice. I'm like, Jesus, can you come tell me other things in my dreams, please? <laughs> I'm like, I only have, like the only dreams that I have that are very like prophetic are baby dreams. Like it's just, it's crazy to me. And of course, you know, I'm not like this crazy sorcerer or anything, but like I do think God talks to me in my dreams. Like I think it's awesome, but it's just crazy, so.
That's my answer for that question. Okay, if the camera angle looks like it just changed, it's because I was sitting on my knees and they got really numb, so we had to we had to switch it up so I could gain consciousness back in my my legs. Consciousness? I don't know. Whatever. Next question. Um, did you want Lennon and baby number two to be this close together in age? So I've talked about this again in the vlogs and in previous questions, um, but I really didn't care. I just wanted them to like, like me and my sisters are all very close in age and I love that. So like, I'm totally fine with it. Um, and obviously if we started trying in June, we were well prepared for it. So God's timing, not mine. This was like a really commonly asked question. How did I hide my bump? Like in the first trimester, I didn't hide it from people in my daily life. Like I wore a bump out to every single restaurant. I actually had a couple of y'all DM me asking if I was pregnant because you saw me at a restaurant. You were like, I didn't want to ask, but are you pregnant? Because like, if you are, congrats. And I was like, honestly, I'm glad you can tell that I'm pregnant because you know, I, I think it's more rewarding this time around, especially showing sooner that you get that reward of like, I look pregnant because I am pregnant and I love that. So I thought it was so funny like when everyone was like, oh my God, how'd you hide that big of a bump? And I'm like, well, I didn't hide it from anybody around me and that's all that really matters because social media is easy to hide it. Like I just didn't post like straight on except for one game day outfit where I wore that Canadian tuxedo game day outfit. That day, it was getting really hard to hide it. I was like sucking and flexing. I was like, <gasps> so yeah, that's just how you hide it. You gotta suck and flex or you just take strategically placed pictures and just don't post them or post them and just don't care. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why, again, it led us to announce because I just couldn't hide it anymore. I literally wore belly out to the most recent game and I was like, I have to post because all of them are posting pictures with me and if anybody goes to my tag pictures, they will see my bump in it. But I, at that point, I didn't care. Like it was, we, we were ready to announce anyways, but yeah, suck and flex, baby, suck and flex. Okay, so this question was also in the vlog. A lot of these are just kind of like leading up to like first trimester questions, like my symptoms or whatever, but just like overall pregnancy questions because we just haven't really got to talk about it at all, you know? So we're catching up, we're catching up. Um, but somebody asked me, did you have dreams or signs of the gender? Which, if you watched my gender reveal vlog, I tell you my very, very specific dream that I had, and I also talked about it in the pregnancy vlog, which this answer on my Q&A gave it away because a couple of y'all DM'd me and you were like, oh my gosh, you just watched your vlog and you said you had a dream about a baby boy, and you said it was right, and you haven't announced that it's a boy yet, and I was like, you guys are like, you guys think, like detectively detectives like I was like wow okay um you're right I was like but I'm announcing soon so it didn't, it didn't matter but I was like that's kind of cool that you guys like picked up on that I guess it was like a little easter egg call me Taylor Swift just kidding I'm not somebody also asked me because I posted a story with like the song that I love it's called to our daughter by Jacob's best friend or whatever and everyone was like oh my god does that mean it's a girl and I'm like I didn't even think about that. And then I DM'd everybody. I was like, no, I'm not Taylor Swift. <laughs> like, I just really like the song, but it was funny. Um, so yeah, anyways, I talked about this in my in my um, previous two vlogs. So if you haven't watched those, I highly recommend doing that because most of these questions are answered in those vlogs. But you know, I just like to chat. So here we are. But I had the most vivid dream. And I'm honestly telling y'all because if it comes true, that's going to be wild. Like literally wild. I had a dream that I gave birth at 37 weeks and five days, which it's so weird. I see it on the paper like vividly. And I like was like, oh my gosh, I woke up the next morning and that's when I had my gender testing, like where I took my blood and everything. And it was literally the night before. So I was like, oh my gosh, like I am convinced it's a boy. So I gave birth in my dream to a boy at 37 weeks and five days. He was either eight pounds and nine ounces or nine ounces or nine pounds. I could not remember it. it there was an eight and nine in it, eight and nine. So it could be eight pounds, could be nine pounds. I don't know. But at 37 weeks and five days, I'm like, if I give birth to a nine pound baby at 37 weeks and five days, this baby's the next freaking... Yao Ming, I don't know. He's gonna be tall or something. That's crazy. But yeah, that was my dream. Baby boy, 37 weeks, five days, and eight, nine pounds, something like that. So if that comes true, 
y'all can look back at this and know that my dreams are just crazy wildly true wild um but yeah so that's the answer to that question all right the number one asked question which if you guys have followed me you know you will not be getting an answer to do you guys already know the name and what is it y'all you know me you know me I'm not gonna tell you but yes he has been named I'll give you a hint because people who watch the vlog, you know me a little bit better than people on Instagram. So I'll give you a little hint. We came up with it at the Raiders. I'll give you a hint. Um, but it was over a year ago and I love this name and it's very on brand. I'll say that very on, very not on brand, but like I'm obsessed with it. I don't know anybody. I don't know anyone with a child named this at all like I don't know anybody genuinely don't know one person that has their child named this which is like so cool to me and I will say two of you DM'd me and you were right you guys guessed the name already but the only reason they guessed it was because uh, I gave a little hint that I'm like mad at myself for giving so you know what at this point I don't care if you guessed it right because then you'll know I had this name if anybody names their kid this name, and I've told family and friends, like very close-knit family and friends, and if they tell anybody, I will freaking know and I will kill them. But you can refer back to this point right here and his name is his name. Yes, he's already named. I'm very excited. Again, I'm very excited. But you guys will not know until I give birth because... I just feel like it's so much easier to just like announce the name at the time that they're born because then you don't really have to worry about any opinions or anybody being like, oh, I know this person, I know this person. I'm like, I don't care. He's already named. He's already here. You see his face, you know? So that's kind of my mindset on the names, but I genuinely don't know one person with a baby name this name, and I think it's the coolest name, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love him already. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so this is more of a first trimester question. Here we are. Is this pregnancy different than your first? Easier, harder, question mark. I would say this pregnancy has been so much different than when I was pregnant with Lennon, which is so weird. And it makes more sense now that I'm having a boy. Like it kind of affirms me that like, oh, I'll be feeling this way when I'm having a boy and I'll feel this way when I have a girl. So when I, had, when I was pregnant with Lennon, I had zero symptoms. I was frolicking around, working out every single day, eating whatever I wanted, did not care at all, um, did not feel sick at all, did not feel fatigued. I felt like a little fatigued, but like, you know, you're tired, you're pregnant. Nothing compared to this time around. This time around with baby boy, I am nauseous all the time. I am 16 weeks now, so I'm kind of past it, but like, I was super nauseous from like, five weeks to like literally 15 like I stopped being nauseous like last week which is crazy because I mean like there are days I have my bad days like there are some days where I'm like oh my god I need to sit down or I'm gonna throw up and I have not like thrown up or anything but yeah the nausea has been crazy wild which is weird because they say with girls you have a lot of nausea with boys you have none and I'm like well for me switch that because it's the opposite um and then my cravings this time around, I've wanted like nothing but like crap food, like meatball subs, like pizza, Chick-fil-A, everything. And again, I've talked about this in previous vlogs, so I know I'm just repeating, but again, we're chatting. Um, and with Lennon, I wanted acai bowls, fruit, everything, the freshest salads, like everything. I did want like, you know, every now and then I wanted like biscuits and eggs or whatever, but this time around I'm like, Carbs, food, bread, everything I can eat, but also nothing sounds good. It's really just a weird balance. I don't really know how to explain that. But um, yeah, moral of the story, totally different pregnancies, which really was kind of shocking to me because I've had people who say that and um, they have like the same gender or anything. And like sometimes they're like, no, my pregnancies were all the same and I had all different babies. So I feel like, again, it's just dependent on you. So yeah, but this time around, I have not had spotting. Let me knock on wood. Thank the Lord. If you watched any of my pregnancy vlogs with Lennon, I opened up about, you know, spotting throughout my whole pregnancy. So like I would trade nausea and everything for that peace of mind any day. 
thank the Lord because that was no mental no easy mental battle for sure um but yeah so that's how it's been kind of different and again this time around like if I'm fatigued and I'm exhausted I can't just sit down I have a toddler we got to go to the park we got to go to the play gym everything I have seeked out help like we like help as in like a babysitter a nanny which is amazing um that's currently where London is right now she's a uh, playing at a play place because I still want her to be active and I still want her to be able to do things but like I physically cannot do that right now like I'm getting to the point where picking her up is like killing my back like I'm like how am I gonna do this when I have like a huge bump in a few months so that's why I'm seeking help now because I'm being proactive um but yeah very different pregnancies but boy and girl so we'll see for the next one how how that one would be so this is actually not a dumb question because people who have never been pregnant or have never tried to have a baby or don't know anything about that don't really know like weeks and trimesters so someone asked me what trimester are you in so I'm technically in my second trimester um, I believe the first trimester is 13 weeks so I'm well into my second trimester almost a month in so love that okay bro um but yeah, not a dumb question, but I wanted to answer it because some people just don't know. Okay, next question is, what makes you most excited about having a boy? So, me and Jarrett, we're both in the mindset of, like, if we have a boy, so happy. If we have a girl, ecstatic. Like, we do not care. We love, obviously, Lennon, so the girls are the best. But I'm so excited to have a boy because this is the first boy in my family. My dad... Never had any boys, obviously, I'm one of four girls, and he was, like, so happy and so excited, and that was, like, one of the best joys of, like, tell, like finding out we were having a boy was, like, oh my gosh, I get to make my dad a granddad, well, he's already a grand dude, oh my god, hold on, ugh, <coughs> pregnancy I'm so stopped up too and that's just like pregnancy again um and I'm out of breath all the time anyways first boy in my family my dad never had a boy and we only have two boy cousins in my whole entire dad side and that's like two boy cousins like that's it out of 18 girls 18 girls there's two boys how crazy is that so First boy in my family, um, my dad gets to be a grand dude to a boy, which he is so happy. And Jared, of course, I think it's funny because in the video he goes, I'm a girl dad, I'm always going to be a girl dad. And then we find out we're having a boy and he's like, oh my god. We both had the most crazy reactions, but it was, it's just the best. And he was like, I don't know why, but I feel like this like weight is off my shoulders. And I'm like, it's nice. Like it feels good to have one of each, like... I, it's just so nice and I'm so happy and so blessed to have a boy like I'm so excited um, But yeah, so I'm so excited to get my dad his first grandson. That's what I'm most excited about Okay, so this is another asked question. How far along were you when you found out with baby number two? I know again if you watch the vlog you'll know but um, I was so I say four days in that video But technically it was five days I was five days away from my missed period because I counted like the days in between not necessarily the day that I took the test So there was five total took the test on the 26th and I wasn't even supposed to start until the first so that was just crazy to me how early I was and how positive is what it was which also leads me to believe that I'm an early ovulator so for next time mental noting that um but yeah so and again the only reason I took a test was because I had a dream so wild so some people asked why we didn't do like a huge gender reveal party and I feel like that's just kind of like unspoken like I feel like baby number two is just more like chill like baby number one we had a huge party obviously Lennon's baby number one we had a huge party huge gender reveal but you guys also have to understand that like we lived in a place where my entire family was there all of our best friends flew in all of our best friends on the team lived right down the street and it was just it was just natural to have a party because it was just like oh we're gonna find out the baby's gender let's have all of our close friends and family come see it with us like that's fun here in Denver, we just moved here, 
we don't have a ton of friends on the team yet. I mean, we have great friends, don't get me wrong, but like not nearly as many as we had in New England, like obviously. We're brand new here. Um, we have a couple core friends, but like right now we're still getting settled in. My family lives across the country and we didn't want to wait. We just wanted to find out ASAP. And again, I feel like baby number two is just very chill, like been here, done that, like very excited. Obviously I vlogged it all just like I vlogged with Lennon, so like I still have those memories, but we didn't need to have a huge party, so that's that's it. There's no rhyme or reason, just, you know, that's it. Still a celebratory matter, you know? Okay, someone <laughs> said, share the app that didn't work, please. So the app I use is Glow. I'm not saying it didn't work. I'm saying it just wasn't accurate for me. Like, again, I told you guys, I think I ovulate earlier. The most accurate form of testing and like knowing your ovulation is obviously testing it. There are so many different like, I know this thing called Mira. Um, I actually ordered it because in August we were planning on going full blown trying. I was gonna start testing myself because I had a feeling my ovulation was off um, because it was always just like missing. I mean, obviously we only tried for one month and then we got blessed in J July with a surprise baby. But yeah, so the app was Glow. Don't use it if you really want a reliable app. <laughs> Sorry, test yourself. Use the temperature, do whatever, track your period. Uh, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just reckless. Maybe I just need to be better about it. I feel bad. Glow was, Glow treated me great until I <laughs> was avoiding <laughs> to get pregnant. This is so funny to me how you guys like pick up on my little things. Is the baby name gonna follow your pattern, JKL? If you don't know, Jarrett, Kennedy, Lennon, Alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, what's next? M, N, O, P. So people ask me if we're going to follow that pattern, and I'm going to choose not to answer it, because if I answer it, then the, the pool for the names are way lower, and you guys are definitely going to guess it, um, because it's not uncommon, but it's not common. Um, but if I don't, if I do, if I don't answer it, then you guys are still gonna try to guess or whatever. But I honestly, I just let me let me keep let me just say this. I have thought about the pattern J K L M N, but I don't have an O name. So like, and I plan to have more children. So that that fourth kid's gonna be left out or something or I don't know. I do have an M and an N name and a P name. Just no O. So like in my head, I'm like, do I want to continue the pattern? Like maybe we just keep it with three J K L because then it's like okay, whatever. It's not really noticeable yet for people to pick it up or, you know, I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, moral story, I'm not going to answer that, but I think it's funny how you guys realize that stuff and I kind of love it. I'm like, that's so cute. But again, I'm not Taylor Swift, but I do appreciate that you think I am. Another big question is where will this baby be born? And that is a very great question. I don't know. <laughs> so he's due in April 5th. Technically, we will not be in football season, but football season starts April 26th. And I don't want to be traveling with a two-week-old. So, if this baby comes early, great. If he doesn't, then we're going to have to really be thinking about giving birth here. But unfortunately, that will not come until like 37 weeks, so we don't know. Um, I would love to get birth in Texas though because I do love our Texas house. I love to spend time there and we don't want to be here all the off season because we have a beautiful home in Texas. Why would we not use it, you know? So again, another I don't know question, but a very valid one and I think it will be a Texas baby. I think. Don't mark my words, but I think it will be. I'm going to end on this question because I think it is a very sweet question. After being pregnant once, what are you doing differently this time around? Congrats. So, this time around, I am definitely going to stop stressing. I say that. It's a lot easier said than done. Stop stressing about the little things. Um, I'm going to be so much more just, like, immersive in the pregnancy experience. I had an amazing first pregnancy, and so far I'm having a great second one. And I just, I love pregnancy with everything I'm being. I hate how sometimes the notion on social media is that, pregnancy sucks and pregnancy is this and that and you gain a bunch of weight and you lose a bunch of weight or whatever you breastfeed and it sucks and whatever I'm just here to tell you that it doesn't and I've had amazing experiences gaining weight I don't care like that never crosses my mind um eating a bunch of stuff that never crosses my mind 
growing a human is all that I'm worrying about. Like, I just, I just love pregnancy. I think it's amazing. It's the closest I ever feel to God. And like, that experience is so unlike any other. And let me also start, like, finish off by saying I have such a heart for people who have had trouble getting pregnant and can't get pregnant or have to search, alter like, use alternative motives to get pregnant. I have such a big heart for that because, like, even, even just trying for mm -hmm. one month in June, that, like, was such a mental toll. Like, I can't imagine, like, people going through, like, six, seven months of infertility. Like, I just feel for you and I love you and I'm here for you and although like I have gotten pregnant both times relatively fast I still can feel that like even like the June like I was so sad I was so disappointed I'm like am I okay like am I gonna be able to get pregnant like got everything checked out like so I feel for you so just know that and I hope that this video like doesn't make you sad like I just know that everyone's gonna have their time and everyone's gonna be blessed in their own way and again if you believe in God pray like that's all I can say pray because that's what I did whenever I was like please you know give me give me a sign give me an answer is everything okay like so and that's that's yeah but what am I doing differently this time around I am trying not to stress as much I am enjoying it knowing what's gonna be at the end of this is what's more fun the second time around is like the like having gone through it before, I know how amazing motherhood is and how rewarding it is. And I'm just so excited to meet this baby boy again, or again, meet this baby boy and give Lennon a sibling. She's gonna be so happy. Another question was, how does she feel about it? She's very like, she's young enough, like she's 18 months. She doesn't fully understand, but she gets that there's a baby in mommy's tummy. She'll literally lift up my stomach and say, baby, baby, like try to kiss it. And we have, we have her saying his name so she can say his name. It's really cute. And yeah, so like we have, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Pregnancy brain. Anyways, what I'm doing differently, I just said gonna not stress I'm gonna be looking forward to the ending a lot more instead of being stressed about it because I know what's coming I feel like an expert it's so much easier to enjoy this because I'm not like oh my gosh I need to get this 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 and this I'm like I already have it I already have diapers I already know what size newborn onesies I got them the only thing I'm gonna have to do is get a lot of boy clothes because I have all the girl clothes that line up with April May June July you know newborn through four months six months so this baby boy will have a whole new wardrobe, which will be so fun. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this little first trimester Q&A slash pregnancy catch up with all of y'all's questions. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, I will be answering a lot more questions like this weekly. So follow me there. Um, but I will see you guys next vlog, which I believe will be a game day vlog. So... Hopefully we win that one. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching. I will see you guys next vlog.